Do you know what the most underrated part of your engine that needs to be painted first? Huh? The timing chain cover. We're gonna start by throwing on some of this gunk to start breaking off this dirt and grime. It's getting everywhere. We're utilizing a six piece Red Devil detailing and stripping brush set. It comes with a set of steel, brass, and nylon brushes. The nylon brushes work really great to get the initial hit of grease and gunk off, but the brass brushes work really well to get into those cracks and crevices to really get your piece nice and clean. Next, we're gonna use some acetone to get rid of all the oils on the surface of this part before we start sanding and getting ready for paint. Because this is cast aluminum, we maybe don't necessarily need to sand this down because it's so porous, but we're gonna err on the cautious side and uh, get this little scuff up to ensure that we get good adhesion with our paint. Also note, after we're done sanding, it's a great time to take a propane torch to your part because it is cast. There's a lot of spots where moisture can get trapped. By taking a torch to it, you can ensure that you get all the moisture off so when we do our last round of wiping it down with acetone, our surface is as clean as possible to ensure proper adhesion and longevity of your paint. I like your lips get turned on up. I don't like uh yeah. Now we're going to go around our part and remove all the tape that we don't want. I just did it on the bottom. Hindsight, I should have done it all the way around. Um, paint just pools up on those edges there. If you would have done it all the way around and elevated your part, you would have been just fine. So don't make the same mistake I did. Apply two to three thin coats and allow each coat to dry for two minutes before applying the next coat. The final coat self etching primer do dry for three to four hours before sanding or 15 minutes before wet sanding there's a light coat two minutes underrated guys this is gonna make the engine just look immaculate people are gonna be like wow look at the detail they went into they even painted the timing chain cover who actually paints the timing chain cover like especially on a budget build All right, I really got to get in this crevice here. And time for some top coat. We're going to be utilizing this gloss smoke gray Rust-Oleum brush on paint. Compared to the gloss smoke gray uh, aerosol, this brush on paint was more the color I was looking for. Uncle Tony's Garage has a great video where he talks about Rust-Oleum paint being a really good paint for engines. You're going to get a little bit of streaks here and there. It's not going to be perfect, but if you're going for a budget build and something you just want to look good from afar but far from good, this Rust-Oleum brush on paint is definitely the way to go. Coat number one done. Time for coat number two, and the directions recommend scuffing up the surface if you're painting a glossy surface. And this happened to be pretty glossy once it dried, so we're scuffing it up. After scuffing it up a little bit, go ahead and wipe it down with some soapy water. At least that's what the directions say. And then uh, let it dry. Once it's dry, throw down that second coat. I like it. It's looking a lot more shinier this time, a lot more smooth. There you go. You can see 
a better look at it right there. Uh, basically just caked it on to try and get it like that. We'll see. There might be some thick spots, but now it's just a wait and dry, and let's see what it looks like. Once again, for the clear coat, they recommend scuffing up your surface. So we have some 600 grit here. What's nice on the back side of our sandpaper, it gives us what grit to use for which purpose. We're using the 600 grit to scuff up our paint. Here we go. And wash it down with some soapy water, then let it dry. Always good to use a good mask when you're painting with aerosol paints. It's recommended to paint two or more light coats a few minutes apart. For best results, apply at multiple light coats versus applying one heavy coat. All right, let's get this tape off and see what it looks like. And here's our results. I think because we brushed this paint on and we caked it on on that second coat, we didn't give it enough time to off gas. To avoid this on the rest of our engine parts, we're just gonna skip this clear coat as we do plan on brushing the rest of our engine parts because that paint is it's the color we're going for. button. We'll catch you next time on the Roy Garage.